हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द केस ऑफ एमर्सन प्रोसेस मैनेजमेंट इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वर्सेस असिस्टेंट कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन 106 जीरो सिक्स आईटीआर ट्रिब्यूनल शॉर्ट नोट फोर्टीन एंड द मैटर हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाय मुंबई आई के बेंच द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज थर्टी जुलाई टू and this matter is related to the assessment year 17 18 and assessment year 18 19 as all we know that whenever the assessee makes some submissions during the assessment proceedings the department took those submissions very lightly and sometimes this approach of the department becomes very dangerous for the department itself this is the perfect example this case is the perfect example of this thing as all we know that a lot of assessment orders become null and void which assessment orders are passed in the name of those assessees who are non existent this situation arises in case of those assessees who are individuals and who are diseased and the second category comes the assessment orders which are passed in the name of non existing companies which are merged with some other company in this case also the situation was same the p limited was merged with the ssc the assessment notice was sent to the p limited during the assessment proceedings the ssc intimated to the additional commissioner who was transfer pricing officer in this case that p limited does not exist so your notice is not valid but the department went away with the flow of the assessment the transfer pricing order was passed in the name of p limited which was non existent and even the draft assessment order and the directions of the drp dispute resolution panel were issued in into the name of p limited but at the time of final assessment the assessment order was passed in the name of the ssc the depart uh, the assessee was before the itat with the plea that this assessment order is null and void because this assessment order is based on those orders and directions which are issued in the name of non existing company it was the submissions of the assessee that the final assessment order is in the name of the assessee while at the same time the transfer pricing order the draft assessment order and the directions of the drp were in some other name the itat held that although the final assessment order is made in the name of a existent entity since the transfer pricing order the draft assessment order and the directions of the drp in name are in the name of a company which is non existent so the final assessment order which is based on these is also null and void same was the issue with the assessment order of assessment year 1819 because in assessment year 1819 only one point was different and that in the assessment year the directions of drp was also in the name of the ssc that was not in the name of the non existent company but for the assessment year 1819 also the transfer pricing order and the draft assessment order was in the name of the non existent company and the directions of drp and final assessment order was in the name of the ssc which was the final company which has come with the merger of the p limited so in the case of assessment year 17 and 18 19 in both the cases the itat was of the opinion that these assessment orders are null and void because these are based on the transfer pricing order and the draft assessment order which are in the name of a company which is non existent at the time of issuing the transfer pricing order and the draft assessment order friends this case is very important it throws a light that whenever there is any situation it is the primary duty of the ssc to intimate to the department during the assessment proceedings that the notice which you have given us is in the name of a company which is non existent because you can save your skin only then when you have intimated to the department this was the strong point in this case also 
at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is amerson process management india private limited versus assistant commissioner of income tax and this case has been reported in 106 itr tribunal short notes 14 and the matter has been decided by mumbai itat k bench and the date of the judgment is 31st july 2023 thank you friends